Hey, how's it going everyone? This is a quick tutorial in Scratch on uh, dealing with walking animations for your sprites. So I grabbed a bear sprite here from the Choose a Sprite, uh, Bear Walking. So in it, it has costumes for a walking animation where if you were to cycle through it very fast, it would appear that it's walking. But the big problem with this is it, the bear is only facing one direction, and hitting the left arrow key, if you had it rigged up to move, would make it look like the bear is moonwalking, and it's oftentimes very tricky to flip the bear around uh, and have it walk the other direction. So, uh, I have a quick, medium-sized solution for this, uh, and it looks very nicely, and it does allow you to add in more animations and not have to deal with your costumes too much with a clever method that I'll show you. First let's do the basic uh, walking script and I'm going to use uh, a variable called action uh, saying uh, and an if else if else block. So I'm going to grab an if else and then in the else I'm going to put another if else and then in there, I'm going to put... Actually, that's it. Uh, we just need three possibilities. All right. So there are three things the bear can be doing. It can be going left, it can be going right, or it can be staying put. So let's have when the left arrow key is pressed and when the right arrow key is pressed. And then if nothing else, we'll just have it not do anything. I made two variables for this. One is action. Basically, is it walking or not? Kind of with the idea that you could do many things with this idea, but I'm just, I just have one. So I'm going to, if the left arrow key is being pressed, I'm going to say walk. And that can be anything. That can be a number if you want. When the right arrow key is pressed, it's also going to be walking. And if nothing has happened, it's going to be idling. Once again, you can use any names you want, just keep them consistent. Now, let's go to motion. When we're moving left, we want to change y by negative 5 is a good base number, but you could, once again, have a variable to show how fast you want it to walk. And then change y by 5 if we're hitting the right arrow key. And don't do anything if not. So now, once we hit play, right, we need this all inside of a forever loop, forgot about that, because we need to con constantly check for the entire game. So now he glides back and forth. We don't have it cycling yet, I'll get that hooked up real quick. Uh, to do that, we need to use another variable. Uh, actually, not quite yet. Um, let's, before we do anything else, let's set up some bases. So when the game starts, we want it to be idling. So let's do that. And I always do this. I always set it to its first costume, because sometimes you can get weird, weird issues like that. Um, now, let's set up the animation script. So, as you remember, we have costumes that are in order of the animation cycle, so we don't need to worry about that. I'm going to make a separate uh, loop here because it requires waiting certain amounts of time and we don't want to mess with the timing of this. So, let's grab a forever and then an if. And then we're going to check to see what action we're doing. So we grab the equals and the action. And if the action equals walk, then all we have to do is hit next costume and then have some sort of delay because it would be going way too fast if we didn't. Point one. So that was a bit weird thing here, but now we set it to idle. And now he walks only when we hit one of the arrow keys and set it to walk. And then as soon as we stop, it'll set it to idle, and then it won't be doing this loop. 
So this is a basic, this is all you have to do if you wanted to one direction moving, but if you wanted to have it flip the other way, you'd see the problem if you had a duplicate after this of the bear facing the direction, other direction, then when you hit the right arrow key, it'll cycle through all the bear moving to the right and then all to the left and then it'll be a bit weird. But here's a quick little fix to that. Um, let's go ahead and duplicate all of these. So now when I duplicate this, there's bear walking A and right underneath there's bear walking A2. So if you do that for all the letters, duplicate, skip the one. G and H. Now, for all the ones with two after it, don't mess with the order right now. Keep it in this, the order that it gives you. Flip every other one now. So every copy that we just made, flip it. Okay. So as long as you didn't change the order, we should have A, A2, B, B2, and they should be alternating directions. Now, um, it'll look real weird to start here. It'll be doing this, both directions. But here's a little trick. If you, based on the order of the that Scratch runs the scripts, if you put two next costumes, it'll switch before you have time to see it. Right now the bear is moonwalking, but um, the idea that it'll skip over every other costume if you put two in there. Um, now we just need to find a way to have it turn around, and I'm going to use another script to make it pretty simple. So let's go to when right arrow is pressed, and we're going to need a new variable for this. I'm going to say direction. So Let's grab a direction and a set. So if direction equals, and the numbers I'm going to use is negative one for left and one for right. You can use zero and one, or you can even type in left and right. So if direction equals right, uh, when we hit the left arrow, so they're, they're opposites. So basically, once we hit left, if we were going right, we we're going to go to next costume one time, so that it, now the alternation is off one, and it'll flip around, and then simply set the direction to left. Now let's duplicate that and just change all the values, so the other case is true. Now, assuming the direction is right to start off, which is not always safe to assume, um, let's just go ahead and have um, a default position. So when we start, it'll switch to bear walking A, which is facing right. So let's go ahead and tell the system set direction to right, so that when we hit the flag, it should be all in order. So if we go right, nothing happens because we were already going right, but if we hit left, it'll flip one costume and keep going with the animation. And so that's the script, but what is cool about this is that uh, you can have as many different animations as you want, um, different um, the bear doing different things, and then as long as you copy it and flip it, this script will always work for any other costume you want to change it into. So there's the tutorial. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.